Hey, you guys, I hope you guys are doing good today. So make sure you guys check out lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea for all your tea sipping needs. And I know a lot of you guys have been asking. My two newest teas are available right now on Amazon and on the website. One is the red blood cell booster tea that's available and so is the honey cinnamon nighttime tea. So if you're interested in trying either one of these out, you guys can check out either one of those websites. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. Welcome to Lovely News Network, and we have another story, and it's coming from our first favorite state, Wretched Ass Florida, okay? This story is a damn trip. It almost seems fake, okay? When I tell you guys this story, y'all gonna be like, this shit ain't happened to you, this shit ain't happening. But I have video evidence that the shit did damn happen, okay? So what's going down in Florida now, you ask? What's going on is that basically you have a grandmother. She's an older woman. She's chilling. You know, she hears some noise on her back door. So she assumes that it's her cat. She goes to go check her screen porch and she doesn't see her cat. And instead she sees a naked 28 year old man. His name is Eric Rivera. He's basically standing on her back porch with his damn nuts and berries hanging, okay? So then she proceeds to scare him away by popping her teeth out of her mouth. <laughs> And basically when she did that, he ran for the damn hills and he was later on caught and arrested running butt ass naked down the damn street, okay? So kudos to grandma for thinking fast and scaring this damn would be possible rapist away, okay? <laughs> this entire situation is a hot damn mess. Y'all go ahead and check this news clip and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. To see her cat on the back porch. Instead, she saw a man there without a stitch of clothing. But she stood her ground, she said, even though he was naked, and it was the suspect who ran away, leaving his clothes behind. Channel 9's Melanie Holt live at the Brevard County Jail, where the suspect is now in custody, likely in a jail jumpsuit. Now police say he was still walking around nude when they arrived on Sir Hamilton Circle. They immediately took him into custody when they spotted him, and they did ask where his clothes were. Police say he told them they were stolen. All right, Mr. Rivera. 28-year-old Axel Rivera was wearing a two-piece jail outfit and a pair of flip-flops when he saw a judge this afternoon. That's three more items than Titusville police say Rivera was wearing when he was discovered on Penelope Pedersen's screen porch this morning. I always look first. I open the blinds. I say, oh, hell, that's not my cat. Pedersen, who once worked in security and law enforcement, decided she'd give the intruder a fright. Grandma, no teeth. Your Honor, uh, also, alcohol is apparently a, an issue here. Pedersen told me the suspect right. also okay, exposed okay. himself to a neighbor here on Sir Hamilton Circle who went on the offensive. Right now, Rivera is charged with one count of exposing himself and one count of burglary. It could have been a very, very bad scene, uh, the situation. The woman was victimized not only having to uh, have someone in her home uh, not, that's not wanted in her home, but also someone who was wearing no clothes. For her part, Pedersen told me she was never frightened by the suspect. He was just a dumbass. Rivera doesn't have a local address. He appears to be from Massachusetts. He's being held now on a $15,500 bond. Live here at the Brevard County Jail, Melanie Holt, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. I'm sorry, but I cannot keep a straight face with this story. When she called him a dumbass, I fell the hell out. And I love how the news kept on shade at him, talking about him being in his three-piece jumpsuit, and he got on more clothes than he did when he was on her porch. They are straight roasting him in this news story. You cannot make this shit up. Only in ratchet-ass Florida would a man be roaming through people's backyards with no clothes on, only to be scared off by a grandmother who pulled out her damn teeth, okay? So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire ratchet-ass situation. Once again, coming from our first favorite state, ratchet-ass Florida. Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you wanna know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.